Well, here we are, huh? What is this, uh, three weeks before Christmas? Um, right here on the Cumberland Plateau in Middle Tennessee. We are hard at it. Let me just tell you that right now. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Hippie, and uh, I am currently heading up an outreach that we have created uh, in association with our music events to try to provide assistance for the undeserving. And I say that with great seriousness. I have been assisted in so many ways by so many people and, and you know who you are and I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for all your contributions of food and, and clothing and, and Christmas toys and, and uh, uh, for allowing us to be a part of, uh, a small part of helping marginalized people that exist all around us. That said, there has been a certain amount of pushback, which kind of surprises me and kind of doesn't. Um, the fact that our outreach is, is, is pretty much designed to seek out the stragglers and the uh, and the people that don't necessarily qualify or are able to qualify or can get to uh, uh, food assistant areas or even go online and fill out uh, uh, food stamp papers um, has turned some people off and uh, I, I gotta say I gotta say, it's a, it's a little surprising to me, the extent of it, uh, as far as all that goes. Um, one of the things that I repeatedly hear, and I, and I have heard a few times in the last few days, uh, just in the conversation while I'm off the farm and also uh, uh, on Facebook, is that uh, uh, people don't mind helping the deserving people but they're opposed to helping the people that don't deserve it and and by that i mean they seem to have uh some kind of power or some kind of uh some kind of intuition where they can actually judge people without any background information without knowing uh, uh, the person's history, not knowing what their what their childhood was like, how they grew up, what kind of abuse they may have suffered, what they may have gone through, just on the basis of appearance or possibly on the basis that these people sometimes have had legal problems, some of them have been in jail, some of them have been to prison, some of them have, a lot of them have, uh, have drug problems, opiate issues, and, uh, and, and, they, and they don't want their tax dollars to go to the assistance of these people. And my immediate reaction when I hear that or read that is to ask them how they can tell uh, based on what criteria. Uh, because basically it takes a while to get to know somebody and often you have to spend time with them in their own environment, in their own home and discuss possibly how they got to the position they're in in order to understand uh, what their need is and, and, uh, and, and their tax dollars. Oh, I hear it over and over. I don't want my tax dollars to go to people that are scamming the system. Well, I tell you, I did a little research this morning. Uh, really, the only system that's left is SNAP, or commonly known as the food stamp program. There's, there's very little aid to dependent children. There's, uh, I suppose, some Section 8 housing available for people that live in more urban areas. But 
uh, I, I'm told over and over, well, these people are just living on welfare. They just get a check and they never work and they're lazy and, you know, well, let me tell you, there is no check. If anybody out there knows about where to get a check, please let me know because I have a lot of friends that need one. But there is a food stamp program and uh, the food stamp program, according to the uh, uh, Department of Agriculture or the uh, uh, FDA, I'm not sure overseas it, I've looked it up, uh, uh, the average person receives uh, uh, a little over $125 a month food stamps and uh, they receive it for six months. And yet I am told repeatedly, there's a guy down in Florida that told me, well, the, the food stamp crisis in Florida is, it's extraordinary, he says they sell their food stamps for 10 cents on the dollar and they use it to buy drugs. That said, not that I'm not that hip about drugs, but $125 a month, 10% is $12.50. I know for a fact that uh, the uh, the opiates that are sold on the mountain are a dollar a milligram, so a 15 milligram pill is $15. So if you sell your food stamps for 10 cents on the dollar, that will get you part of the pill. But just the same, this person is convinced, even though when I presented him with that information, he's convinced that it's a problem. So what do I think about that? I think that we're searching for a reason to dislike, disenfranchise, marginalized people. Some of us, many of us, feel the need to have someone to look down on and to blame for the problems that exist in their lives in this country. And uh, we want it to be their fault. We want them to find themselves in a position of need because they didn't try hard enough or they weren't, uh, 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 didn't pay enough attention in school or they didn't they didn't uh, uh, get up and, and, and do what they had to do every day, that they're just lazy and all they want is a free ride. And uh, you know what, man, I've been going on the mountain for five years and I haven't met that person yet. But, you know, what can I tell you? I know several, I know two in particular women on the mountain that are, are uh, 70 plus years old. Both of them uh, 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 struggling living on less than $6,000 a year, Social Security. It's not that they didn't have a work history. I don't care if they did or not. And they both receive less than $20 a month in assistance. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I recently, well, not that recently, but I was in the office of a well-positioned man in Cookville getting some work done, some legal work done. I mean, not a lawyer. Um, in regard to an estate that we were settling out, where my uh, mother had passed away, and he knew about our work and we talked about it, and he explained to me, quite frankly, that nobody in this country should go hungry, that if they are hungry, if they have food issues, that it's their own fault because there's enough church-related food distribution place that everyone is taken care of. Well, let me tell you, this is Thursday. Two days ago on Tuesday, we got a, uh, we got a message, often our messages come in on Facebook, about a woman on the mountain whose husband lost his job at the chicken factory and that they were struggling and that she was uh, caring for a grandson who often people on the mountain are and uh, so we took three boxes of food up and we gave it to the lady that had written us on Facebook and she delivered it later that day to this woman whose driveway we couldn't get up and when I got home there was a message on Facebook from, uh, from Sheila and she said, when I took the food up to the woman we discussed, she broke down and cried. She broke down and cried. And she told me, 
I didn't even know what we were going to have for supper. Now, is this bullshit? Is this something we're making up to scam the system? Is this some woman that, that knows better and should have been able to take care of things better? I, I don't think so. And furthermore, I don't give a damn. All you need to do to receive from us is to be on the spot and, and come get it. So that's it. We are preparing to do our last music benefit of the 2017 season uh, on December 16th. Tommy John's going to open with a blues set, and then our good, uh, our good, our, our, our good friends Tim O'Brien and and uh, Mary Gaucher and uh, uh, Tim, Tim's significant other Jan are going to join us. And it is a non-ticketed event here on the farm, www.chamiontibbyjacks.com. All we ask is you bring us some, uh, some non-perishable food or some Christmas toys or some very, very importantly, new or like new children's winter coats. And then on December 25th, on the morning of December 25th, Christmas morning, we're going to start up the hippie bus. I hope it's not too cold. I think it's going to be. And we're going to go up the mountain and we're going to have our last distribution for 2017. And it is our great privilege to do so. And I just want to throw out an invitation to uh, all the people that have pushed back on us and have judged us and have claimed that that we're evil or what we do is inappropriate or that these people are undeserving. I want to invite them to go with us because uh, let me tell you, you got to see it to believe it. And maybe they can learn what I've learned, which is this. Poor people are not our enemy. Poor people are not the problem. Poor people are the symptoms. Somebody up on the mountain that has to come up with $60 a day to feed their pill habit because they got prescriptions from drug clinics and, and pain clinics, and uh, they, they're not the problem, they're the symptom. And as far as I'm concerned, everyone's deserving of something to eat. Everyone's deserving to have a little Christmas for their children. Everyone's deserving of medical attention. And everyone, everyone is deserving of a certain quality of life and shouldn't be denied. So for all you people out there that think you know the deserving from the undeserving, I need to be enlightened. I need to have you go to my Facebook, Jack Stoddard, J-A-C-K-S-T-O-D-D-A-R-T, and explain it to me. Explain to me who the deserving people and who the undeserving people are. And you people that I just mentioned that have been so negative and so opposed to what we do, come with us Christmas morning. Come with us Christmas morning and maybe you can point out to me who we should deliver food to and who we shouldn't deliver food to. After all, tis the season.